temperatures. Uh, I just want to say something good, like we're going to have a lot of sun, Eric, and it's going to be mild. We did that on Wednesday. Yay. Yeah. We'll do it again. That was a good 12 hours. Someday. I mean, you know, maybe at the end of November, there'll be something mixed in there. And, uh, well, it's that time of the year where we're back and forth, right? And we've been seeing a lot of rainfall. We've got at least tonight and one more rainstorm to go. Perhaps things will calm down a little bit after that. But tonight, some heavy rainfall, some localized street flooding is likely with this one. If you're heading out tonight, watch out for any flooded out roads. Chance for some isolated damaging winds. Overnight tonight, the Cape and the Islands. Tomorrow, everywhere. Some isolated down trees and power outages. Some minor river flooding possible also. It's just been so wet. It's a weekend tradition. It's rained every weekend going back to the start of October at least one day. And although most of tomorrow will be dry, some rain will fall after midnight. So it'll technically be some rain on a Saturday again. But most of this weekend, dry weather. So here's the setup tonight. We've got a double barreled area of low pressure. The main low heading up into the Great Lakes. A new one that'll move right up across the, over the top of us overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. And that one is generating a lot of heavy rainfall, making its way into the region. Steady rain now across the Cape and the islands, as well as Metro Boston and the North Shore, and some real heavy stuff in northeastern Connecticut, also out toward the Pioneer Valley, all that pushing its way off toward the east. It's just going to be a soaking night. Radar trying to detect a bit of snowfall. You may see a few wet snowflakes here at the higher elevations, some sleet pellets, but I've been checking around all the observation points. Haven't seen anyone reporting any snow except for the very high elevations over 2,000 feet. Temperatures won't move much overnight, staying about where we are region-wide. Really cold rain across the interior, slightly milder rain across the coast. And here's a look at our forecast heading into the overnight, basically just batches of rainfall. Winding down pretty early tomorrow morning. By 6 o'clock, it looks like most of the action will be done. Maybe a lingering isolated shower. There'll also be a little bit of a lull in the wind early tomorrow morning. So if you have an event, maybe a 5K, something going on for the first few hours of the day, the strong winds won't have developed just yet. Temperatures will be in the 40s to around 50 degrees. We'll hover there up through lunchtime and then start to see those temps dip back in the afternoon, becoming very chilly in the 30s by the evening. Flood watches out region-wide, widespread one to two inches of rain. Some localized totals up to three are possible. And also some minor river flooding. All that runoff from all the rain we've seen, they're already running high. These are a few of the trouble spots we'll be watching. If you live near any of these streams, some of the smaller rivers, keep a close eye on water levels. Some minor flooding is likely heading into Saturday. In terms of winds, wind advisor kicks in at 10 o'clock tonight for the Cape and the Islands. Those will be southerly winds, but for the rest of the region, really doesn't start until late tomorrow morning, and some gusts up to 45 miles per hour look pretty likely. Kind of similar to what we had last weekend. Not quite as strong, but we'll have that bit of a lull in the morning. If you remember last Saturday, it wasn't bad for the first few hours of the day. And then from midday onwards, some gusts over 40 will be likely. So a very blustery afternoon and evening into tomorrow night. High temps close to 50 tomorrow, but just staying in the 40s on Sunday. Bright sunshine, but it'll be breezy and brisk and a feel of wintertime out there for the second half of our weekend. BC taking on number two Clemson tomorrow night. Layer up, wind chill values back into the 20s, but it will be dry out there. If you're doing the tailgate, just all the winter attire, you'll be in good shape. And the Veterans Day Parade in Boston on Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock, a temp of about 43, but the wind chill will be in the 30s. And the wind chill generally in the 20s and 30s from tomorrow evening into tomorrow night and throughout much of the day on Sunday as well. So here we go. Monday, chilly day to start the week, middle to upper 40s. Next storm rolls in on Tuesday. This too looks to bring a soaking rainfall, potential for some snowfall across interior sections of New England and New York State. And behind it, coldest air of the year on Wednesday. It looks like the main push of this cold blast will be on Wednesday. Highs can stay stuck in the 30s with the wind feeling more like the 20s out there. A little bit of a rebound on Thursday and into Friday, but chilly stuff. If we can go Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday without rain, it'd be the first three-day stretch without any rain since October 4th to 6th. It's been a while. It has been a while. All right, Eric, thank you so much for the